I have a really physical job. Um, bruises are just kind of part of the part of the job. Um, no one would suspect that it, you know, would come from anywhere else. I'm anemic. <laughs> Every little thing I bump into, and I'll have bruises for like weeks. Sometimes it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a cat scratch. We were just horsing around and he sc scratched me. Um. No, you know it's it's not even it's not that big of a deal. I, mean, I can take it. I'm a big guy. I don't know. I know that she means well. She loves me, and I just know that it's always an accident. Sometimes he goes a little far. I mean, I've hit him too, and we're not a perfect couple. And other people have it way worse. I mean, I've heard horror stories. It's really not that big of a deal. Like, she never does it in front of the kids, but sometimes it's just like, it's like the pressure at work. And I feel bad because she has been there for me since like day one, and she's watched all my success, but Sometimes it's a little weary. I never really like feel scared, like just a handful of times. And I don't know, just, I know that it's always by accident. Like I know she doesn't mean to hurt me. She just gets like really stressed and fed up and she just kind of like blows up. Yeah, um, you know, it's it's not that bad. She uh, she calls me names occasionally, but she doesn't mean it. She, uh, she grew up rough and it's, you know, it's not her fault. I, I don't want anyone to worry about me. It's, I'm fine. We're fine. It's, it's, it's really not a big deal. It's, it's not that bad. Uh, you know, she calls me names sometimes, but she, um, she doesn't mean it. Um, it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, it never happens in front of the kids, and that I'm the most grateful for. And we have this big, beautiful house, and it's like really thick walls, and it's like excellently insulated, so I don't have to worry about them ever hearing it. And I never felt like like my life was in danger. You know, it's never been that bad. Uh, you know, if she's had a bad day or... Um drinks or whatever but you know I think it's, it's it's a pretty normal thing I'm not really I think it's just something that happens so I just hope it gets better and uh, we can continue to climb our ladder of success I just I really don't want my coworkers to know it I've worked so hard to earn their respect and you know I am excellent at what I do I'm really really good at my job and I don't I, just, I don't need anyone to worry about me <sighs> I've got it under control uh, I mean what am I going to tell my friends that my girlfriend is constantly throwing objects at me it's, I mean it's not even worth talking about really it's not a big deal <laughs> I don't know, I mean, people, people don't think that things like this happen to people like me. So, no, I don't think they would understand. She just blows up and says things that I haven't even thought about for 10 years that I shared with her. You know, I'm the, I'm the second woman in my family to receive a PhD, so I think I know what I'm doing. And I just don't want to tell anyone, it's... It's private. Yeah, I mean, I love her, you know. It's it's not her fault that she grew up in a in a rough situation, you know. It's kind of just something that you you deal with, you know. You move on. It just you have to keep it in your past.